Okay, um, we're just gonna see if this streaming is gonna work here. So uh, what I've got here is this uh, JVC XL V311 compact disc player. And I don't know, let's see if I can get some better light on that. Probably not. Don't know if you can see it there, but uh, yeah, this is what we're uh, looking at this evening, what I'm looking at this evening. And um, what I'm trying to do is uh, I use this in my uh, office at work um, whenever I'm working on footage and I don't necessarily need to listen to audio or listen to the, the show's audio. What I'll do is um, I'll throw on some music um, with this CD player and uh, I route it out through the speakers. Um, I work on uh, TV programming and uh, I color the footage and online it and um, that alone doesn't necessarily need, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean I need to listen to the audio of the show at the time if I'm just coloring it and doing blurs and all that stuff. And um, so what I'll do is I'll throw some music on in the background to listen to. And um, the CD player is how I do some of that. Sometimes I'll listen to music over YouTube and then just play it through the speaker system. But uh, uh, another option is this disc player here. And I went ahead and purchased a remote for, I purchased a remote for the unit here online. And uh, it does work. However, the issue is is that um, I'm about uh, maybe 15 feet away or so from the actual uh, unit. And when I try and uh, use the functions on the remote from that distance, it doesn't always pick up. And I usually have to do some leaning and stuff and you know maneuvering around the remote in order for the unit to see it. So what I ended up purchasing was this IR uh, receiver transmitter receiver and uh, see here yeah sorry if this uh, isn't really playing out as well for you on the live stream but uh, this is kind of just a test tonight so um, so I've got this uh, infrared uh, transmitter receiver thing here that I think I only paid like 10 bucks for it uh, online uh, I think it's a cable matters unit and basically what happens is, is I just need to point the remote at this uh, receiver here and uh, it'll transmit the uh, signal into here and I need to have this close to the remote sensor on the unit. And the thing is I can have it sticking right around here or so and uh, it's it, it generally works, however, it, it's kind of an eyesore on the unit itself. So what I'm thinking is, I'm wondering if there's a way I can open up this unit and find a way to just place uh, this transmitter somewhere near inside the unit so that way it's not visible from the outside and then just find a way to route it out of the back here without it being too noticeable. So. Um, and this just gave me a chance to test out uh, the YouTube uh, live feature here. So we'll see how this goes. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I may not do much talking, but this is just really a, a test tonight. It's not really anything crazy or fancy or anything. But uh, just want to see if uh, this is something that can be done. So I'll go ahead and start opening this unit. And I'm just using... Uh, regular Phillips screwdriver here.
So I can't remember where I got this unit from. It was most likely a thrift store. And I've just had it in my closet for years and just hadn't been using it. And then I, I guess I noticed it one day and got the idea, you know, I've got speakers in my office at work that I can um, route audio through with a little mixer there. I wonder if there's a way I can take this and get some RCA cables and just plug it in via that way. And uh, I had a spare cheap RCA video uh, splitter or uh, switcher, switcher. And uh, basically what I do is just plug in the, uh, the RCA cables from the output of the CD player into that uh, switcher and then route it into the mixer and then that gets mixed into the speaker system and uh, I'm able to listen to music. So let's see, let's go ahead, got the screws. Oh, we got a couple in the back here. I need to take care of real quick. And for those curious, this was manufactured in October of 1989. So I would not have even been born yet. But it's amazing, this unit here. Uh, I've not really had to do any kind of maintenance to it. The laser lens, the laser appears to be working, uh, lens and everything. I don't have really any kind of skips that I've noticed on playback. And uh, it just looks cool. I just kind of like this unit for the way it looks and stuff. It, it's pretty simple. This is just a one disc uh, unit here. But it does the job. Ah, there we go. Let's see, just place this right here. All right. Well, let's see if I can aim in a little more there. And I know this isn't going to be ideal viewing conditions, but uh, I'm afraid this is the best I'm going to get for right now. At least I, until I figure out this whole live streaming thing here. Let's see here. Okay. Hopefully that's enough light to see there. Okay, now what I'm mainly interested in is this remote sensor right here. And yeah, it looks like it's behind there. Hmm. Yeah, somewhere back in here is where the remote sensor is. So what I'm thinking is just trying to place the transmitter here. If there's some way I can just kind of plop it in there. It doesn't have to be fancy. I'm not going to be looking at it. So that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this here. think what I can do. Take all that. Okay. Let's see here. How much cabling are we dealing with here? Yep. Okay. Quite a bit of cabling here. Um, let's see. Now, 
I could drill a hole in here, but I really don't want to have to do that because I don't want to have to uh, destroy the case or alter the case just to uh, implement in this receiver here, this transmitter. Somebody's hair. Mm. Oh. Let's see here. Should be able to route it down in here. Could put a little tape there. But, uh, let's see here. We should be able to test this without having to put the screws back in here. So let's see. What I'll go ahead and do, I've just got it stuck in here right now. It's not glued or taped down or anything, so we just cover it up as if I was going to use it. And this unit, it, it stays on a shelf, um, so you won't be able to see the back of it. So if the cable is sticking out in the back here, it's not really going to be a big deal. Okay, and let's see here. We've got the receiver, and this basically accepts the signal that the remote puts out. This accepts the signal the remote puts out and feeds it into the transmitter. The transmitter uh, sends that signal to the uh, remote sensor in the unit here. And uh, we just got a simple little USB for power here, and I've got a little uh, power adapter here for USB. Should be able to handle it just fine. Okay, and then we need to make sure that the unit itself is plugged in. Okay, here we go. Okay, power, we got power, that's good. And uh, I don't really need to uh, have a CD or anything to actually test this with. I'm just going to move over here out of the... Uh, path of the remote sensor so that way we can test to see if this thing really works here. So I want to move let me move the camera over here so in case it does work you can see it. Okay so uh, if everything works out like I hope it will the I'm gonna open up the disc tray here. So I'm just gonna do this off to the side here away pointing the remote away from the remote sensor on the unit and uh, sending the signal to the IR receiver here. So let's see if this works. Okay, I'm getting a blue light on the IR receiver, so that indicates that it is getting the signal. However, the signal does not appear to be enough to actually, oh, oh, there we go. Hmm. Okay. So that could just be where I'm. S I'm gonna try again over here. Okay. Nope. So even though it did open, it's not really fully 100% working, at least as accurately and reliably as I would like. So, let's see what we got. Hmm, I hope I don't have to actually take apart this board here because that'd be more work than I was wanting to do on this. that would work. Okay. It technically works, but it's not functioning as well as I would like it to. So Guess the next plan 
is to figure out how to get this front piece off. Just go ahead and turn that off. Unplug it. Let's see, where is that? Right there. I wonder if placing it right on there would work, make it work. Okay. Well, if I turn it on. There we go. I don't know if you can see it, but it is opening and closing now. Okay, so there we go. So it needs to be about kind of, well, there is a square here that I've got the uh, transmitter in. And again, I know it's, I understand it's kind of hard to see here. Where my thumb is, or, well, that's not, um, hold on, uh, yeah, where my thumb right here is, that's where it needs to uh, stay. So what I may end up doing is just applying, uh, just put a little bit of tape on there. There was some adhesive on here, there, but I, it came off when just having it plugged into the outside part. So I'll find something to just kind of keep that in there, and we'll go from there. So let's see here. We got some electric tape here. Wonder if that would be enough though. Hmm. You know what? We got gorilla tape. We'll use that. Let's turn this back here. Yeah. We're gonna use some uh Grill tape here. Roll this up. I'll just put it on the back here. That'll do just fine. Now stick it right there. Hopefully that won't cause too much interference with the circuitry there. And uh, just gonna go ahead and treat it like we were putting it back together. Close enough. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay. That seems to have done the trick. And I'll go ahead and just turn it around here. Yep, and uh, 
good measure. I'm going to test out this CD here and make sure I can go through all the tracks and everything. Um, I'm not going to actually play any of the audio, so you won't hear any of the audio, but I just want to see if it's playing through the tracks here. So, okay. It's, looks like it's playing. I'm going to go to uh, the next track, two. Good. Okay, looks like it's playing there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see if I try hitting four with that. Yep. Okay. Um, looks like that did the trick. And we'll go ahead and just, yep, eject that. And uh, for those curious, it's a uh, Genesis CD. But, uh, yep, that's, all righty, that was pretty much it. Um, what I'll I'm gonna go ahead and do is just put this pad together and then take it back to work and plug it back in. Hopefully, I should be able to use the remote from a greater distance because I'll have this uh, receiver here. I'll have it close to my desk, so I can just you know tap the play button right near the receiver here and it should be able to send the signal over to the unit and I shouldn't have to do any leaning over and bending to try and get the uh, remote the unit to see the remote signal so um, that's it for this live stream um, this is my first one so I don't know how well it's going to come through hopefully it won't be too painful to watch so um, just let me know in the comments what you all thought of this um, if this is something you want to see more of uh, yeah just let me know and, and uh, have a good one.